to start something new because this request within this request being granted comes certain perks there are certain perks that comes with your gifts that helps you to go for to, to unlock new newness for you new potentials I feel you have leveled up Cancerian in this game overall okay you have a lot of spiritual tools gifts ideas feelings and these are very helpful along your journey throughout this life that you're living so you have the support you have the tools necessary around you it's up to you to learn about the eight of wands how to use each tool in each moment along your journey let's see if I can get something more about the eight of wands because it feels like open unlocking something and then out of what you've unlocked it it's eight different components you know like eight different stars and each star has a different power or gift or attribute that helps to as keep you propelling am i making sense into one into that direction where that newness that you've unlocked is okay let's continue what is the eight of wands energy the cancer is. okay so it's, it's important for you not to have doubts about what you want and um when you ask for something to believe that it is there for example if you ask for help know that it is it is there that is what these it's like wishes a lot of wishes are wishes granted so and it has to do with finances following your heart doing what is right for you it's that kind of guidance that you have with what you've unlocked on this new path maybe before you weren't in tuned with your intuition you weren't respecting your gut feeling but now you have learned to listen to who you truly are when it comes to moving from connections that are not serving you whether that's in relationships or business if it is affecting your core values you've you've now learned how to maneuver through situations that are not serving you and that's a power you can ask questions because you have these like angels and spirits and guides that answer you when you ask. It's beautiful. You, I feel if you let me let me see if I can put this together. It's kind of exciting. Four. What is four? Union. I feel like if you you have so much doubt about money you have you have doubts about your financial stability and it is the doubt and the disbelief and the lack of value and the lack of self-worth that actually prevents you from So maybe it's your 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 doubts, your, your your beliefs about worth and value that prevents you from asking for more, and it I feel it keeps you on this record, this playing field of not having enough. Re, like it's almost like uh, always, you know, not moving forward. Like you're getting a bit a taste of it, but then you go back to wondering if you are worth it. But I feel if you ask, and I hear whispers, if you ask something, the answers just come to you. You have that gift. No. And I, the, I was supposed to do many different, um, many more cards, but this one is alone is powerful. Because you've, you've unlocked something. All right, let's clarify the five of pentacles energy. It has and it has some it's it's meant to level up your financial stability especially because i feel like this if it is a new business or whatever it is it's meant to level you you've asked for this and that is why you've unlocked this potential so you need to maximize on it 
or to make the best of it to ask for all ask for what you want this is what the energy is saying and do you have the support to take you into and i feel the ace of pentacles energy ten of pentacles nine of pentacles what is the five of pentacles this new thing that you've unlocked a new business whatever it's it has the potential to uh, grant all of your wishes but let's see what your challenge is the five of cups the five of cups energy is being sad depressed thinking about something you've lost in the past um a person a love affection a family a romance business connection something that you were intimately or just emotionally connected to okay it's a it's a longing also for past happiness past feelings of joy it's actually being afraid to move on from connections because you're emotionally connected to them notice that the five of pentacles is here it's saying move on wanting to follow your own heart moving on following in your intuition take the steps necessary and you're asking you're getting the messages in even in through your own intuition that's how you're receiving these answers through your ancestors especially about money and you need to listen and take the necessary steps and some of you are still trapped in past habits what is like uh, putting things off and waiting to see how things go first, procrastinating and not, not um, cultivating the energy to move forward when you have these beautiful inspirations that needs tending to. This is your garden. These are your wishes. You ask for these things and I feel like you're getting the answers. What are you really putting that taking action? What is the five of cups energy? Angels, spirits, guides, ancestors. The, the energy feels like not, I hear directive, motion, feeling the motion, the fire in the pit of your stomach, your passion, what you're passionate about, where you want to be, having a vision. Maybe thinking that this happy life that you hope for is too far off for you to achieve and you're thinking about the journey. You know, you're looking at the, the road, all the distance ahead of you instead of thinking of the journey getting there. And maybe that's what's making you hesitate. But I feel like you're about to turn around and pick it up and move forward because the potential of your of your vision it keeps flashing in your mind and you know you can get to the ten of cups energy you know you can manifest your dream what is it that cancer wants the most what is it that cancer wants the most okay some people want financial stability majority wants to be happy some people want friends some people want friends actually <laughs> some people want this time the space to meditate to clear their mind to have integrity standards boundaries and these are things that helps you to move forward when it you know when it comes to having that drive to move forward, you work on your standards, your boundaries, what you want for yourself, aligning, what makes you happy, taking the initiative, thinking of your talents and your gifts and that you need to be putting them into practice. These are things that helps you to move forward, especially when you're stuck on emotional connections of the past, not wanting to leave certain things behind certain people wanting to keep you with them for some of you that is the next card is what is keeping you grounded i am hot is the all the put the 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 it's like all the work that you have to do all that you have to work on all of your potentials your gifts
depending on yourself. I am so hot. What is this? So the end result is what? <clears throat> I feel like I'm too hot. I'm not I'm not getting any messages. I swear I just oof. All right, so someone is working. 8 of 8 of 8 of pentacles, 8 of swords. But they are focusing on not being as if you have one thing in your head, not being helpless. And then in your future, we have the seven of pentacles. What is the eight of pentacles, angel spirits, guys? Someone is sad. It could be me. What is the... Sad working alone, working on their vision, on their dreams, a bit broken hearted and stubborn, egotistical. Something, an attitude perhaps that needs to end and it's draining one's energy. I feel one is focusing so intently on work. There's not a lot of room or space for more prosperity in other avenues of their life. So maybe other areas are being stagnated because the attention is just going into one place. And it's like you're neglecting all the some other energies around you. You're focusing so intently on escaping something that you may feel is inevitable. And if I don't do all this work and focus, focus, focus now, I may end up in the Eight of Swords energy, which is... What is that? Penniless? <laughs> what is the Eight of Swords What's going on? What is the King of Swords? I feel like some of you are doing things on your own. You've been blocked, locked out, rejected, neglected, left alone, abandoned. And you had to learn how to put up your defense and allow that force to push you forward, even to disconnect from emotional connections. You want to be free mentally. You want to be free. And the thing that makes you feel trapped right now is possibly financial instability. Let us query this because financial instability is not only having to do with your physical manifestation of money. It has to do with how you feel about you. All right. So, what is the Nine of Pentacles, Energy, Angel, Spirit, and Guides? Help us to decipher Cancer's energy when it comes to money and self-worth, value. How do you feel about you? Are you being true to you? Are you hiding your true self with the heart's energy? What are you giving? Are you being of service? Do you feel valuable to others? And this will align you with your sense of wealth and well being internally therefore creating that externally for you working on your value that's what is important to you now you're working on healing these things and what has damaged your value system is what is injuring your financial system what has damaged your value system is people from your past your emotional connections people that you're closely connected to that have hurt you in many ways shapes forms okay you want this to be over you are working on rebuilding yourself making sure your heart feels safe and secure you are working on your values you're also building this fort around your heart space around your emotions so things that happened in the past will not repeat themselves. When you do this, you begin to see that you value you. You're actually you're um, also taking the necessary steps to tend to your needs, to ensure that you're telling yourself valuable thoughts. You are creating valuable feelings within yourself. You're doing things that makes you feel good. 
worthwhile you're trusting in your heart that is where to start because being valuable does not start externally this is internal work you need to breathe breathing is very important release all the old baggage so that you can move into the new if you're not careful you may re-manifest what you're running from which is being financially unstable because you're not working internally cancerian all right that is where most of the work needs to be done when you feel in yourself that, yes, I am at this nine of pentacles energy, I am wealthy, I am worthwhile, I have aligned with my sense of wealth and well-being, I am giving on to myself. We saw the six of cups energy out here. This is you giving on to you. I keep saying this in every reading. Anna? Give unto you, give love, respect, honor, trust, loyalty, commitment, nurturing, laughter, make yourself laugh, whatever it takes. Give unto you what you require to heal. When you are in a tough situation, you be the bigger person for yourself. You have to be the one to say, yo, I know it's tough, but we're going to do this. Give unto you all that nurturing that you need to grow, to get through, to move past any situation. And in life, if we're not challenging ourselves, we're not growing. And if you're not challenging yourself, life, life will challenge you because you are here. Hello, you are alive. You are alive. So life is going to challenge you one way or another. It is up for you to take the handle upon your story and start creating a new. And for you to know what new you want to create, you have to rebuild you, revalue you, start over despite what others have done to you. And in truth and in fact, it is what others have done that really causes you to know what you want. And it is a beautiful thing that you're hurt, that people hurt you. Because that means they're not settling for less than you deserve. So it hurts you. It hurts who you are, who you've built yourself up to be. And so you're learning how to not let things hurt you, but to how to, you're learning how to move forward. Okay? How to move forward, how to be strong. How to, this is why you're working on you. Some of you are single ASF. I know all of your energy is diving into yourself and healing and also work. So I know you're working on yourself. That's why you're putting in work in business also. So you're working on yourself. You need to be doing look, we're moving from the eight of pentacles to the nine, the seven, eight, nine of pentacles. We have two two of pentacles. It's all about your internal value. How you feel about you. It's important for you to get up and take care of yourself every morning if you're looking to manifest a lump sum of money i just got the flash of one who is is his bank account may not have dollars but when you see this person's vibration they are wealthy because they don't feel depleted on on life themselves they know that life itself is abundant this is earth earth is abundant earth is ongoing there's endless potential and possibilities endless ways to stream income so when you tap into that wealth vibration of yes there are so many wealth potentials out here i'm attracting these today and you rise up you take care of yourself you look your best i got the vision of a person got up a, a, a male got up who gets up every morning and puts a suit on a tie and is vibrant they're not, they, you cannot tell that they're pretending to feel wealthy because they actually feel wealthy because they've been doing the work. There's a disconnect with what I'm seeing between doing the work and feeling wealthy. It's learning how, and it, you have to learn how to meditate so you can connect to this divine. And when you're walking without all of this baggage, it's as if, I mean, this baggage and this weight, this depression and this sadness and all the sad stories and you're keeping it in your mind and telling yourself, oh, this is why I have to be wealthy because I have all these. You're not, you're not thinking like a wealthy person. 
a wealthy mindset let's see if the cards want to talk to us about a wealthy mindset today let's see cancer let's see let's heal this how can cancers develop a wealthy mindset <laughs> overnight when i feel one person wanted to do this overnight how can cancers develop a wealthy mindset overnight oh my goodness i'm not joking everyone this is this jack of this jack of pentacles i'm not joking let me just this jack of pentacles is the one that dresses up to look good they're always confident they look good they look good they dress well they appear well they smell good their energy is fresh vibrant and confident they're talking to everyone they're not absorbing everyone's energy they're more vibrating their energy outward this person when they step in, they dress well this is the energy I'm, it's so beautiful that that came out how to wealthy mindset is to put yourself in this frame of mind this person is an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn heavy virgo energy for those of you who know any virgo you know that virgos love dressing up they love smelling good they love watches and jewelry and nice things you know so it's like put on your best outfit and feel like your best self this is what this person is presenting as wealthy mindset for cancerians okay what is that? What is the Six of Swords? Because for me, that was talking about being unbothered, like in thoughts. Because sometimes what other people do externally can throw you off or the things that you're seeing in your environment kind of affects your energy level, your emotions, your wealth vibration. Because you're looking around and you're like, oh, I don't have that Sadie's. I don't have that Sadie's as yet. I mean... Or someone might say something and you're like, okay. And it might want to throw off your wealth vibration. But when that happens and you start thinking poorly again, all you have to do is um, realize that the universe has endless potentials. So this, should, this situation shouldn't get you down, but actually keep you flowing. It actually amplifies your vibration. The Eight of Pentacles repeated, wealthy mindset, working on one's self. What is the Eight of Pentacles? It just feels like keep moving, keep working on yourself, keep developing yourself, study those connections that are holding you back. And it feels like lead, those connections that feel like lead. Look at you. I love it. 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 I'm hearing nurture your garden once more, nurture your thoughts, your feelings. Because, you know, wealthy people, wealthy people, they get massages. You know, wealthy people um, attune their own, their vibrations. They do these things. They spend time taking care of their body, their health, their mind, their intellect, they, their heart space, their loved ones. These are things that are wealthy, Cancerian energy, you know, wealth in family, in guidance, in protection, in showing love. That's true wealth. So think about what your ultimate goal is. Trust in your heart space, what it is that you really want. I want to just be happy doing this every day, whatever, filling the blank. I want to wake up with the sunrise and I just want to feel at peace and I, whatever, whatever it is that you want. And it's important for you to know what you want. Don't stutter like me. Ask. Because remember in the beginning I'm saying there are people listening. So you have to ask with intention. And it has to be pure without doubt. In knowing that it is already there for you. You want your family to be happy. Feel that vibration every day with that intention. Am I making myself clear? Any other messages for cancers? See, the six of cups repeated. All of all the ace of cups. I love that. 
I love it. I do. The Ace of Cups is that love that no one can take away from you or give to you. This is what, because in the beginning with the Tarot cards, the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups, they were together in the pack. I'm saying you're focusing on you, on, on receiving love, on, um, on healing, and that's, that's what it is. That's what wealth is for me, as well as an endless potential to, to be more. That is what earth is. That is why earth is so abundant. And then we have the king and queen of wands energy. Hmm. I feel like as you continue working on you, building your business, healing yourself, you are attracting a soulmate. And they're 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 moving. Let me see what this energy is. The the way that they're moving, they're work, they're almost in the same energy as you. This is fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this person is moving.